My name is Jamila Deville. I'm most known as a pole artist, as an instructor, and as a performer. Um, I created a DVD series over the last years, and three times I've won Instructor of the Year. Step your right foot at the side of the pole, your left foot on the other side. I had a background through my lifetime of uh, dance training, various forms of dance. Um, from dance I went into acrobatics, yoga and then aerials. So I was already training on aerials for five years before I touched a pole. My pole career began in Australia about 15 years ago. I was a dancer, actually a dancer in a club and there were poles. And at that time, the only way to discover pole was to be in a club. It wasn't out there in studios, so I was very lucky, I think, to have found it that way and to have very quickly made it my own thing, my specialty. And that's where I found so much of my content for my DVDs. I could give so much information and really break moves down very specifically in a way that other people weren't doing at the time. Remember to feel the pole on the back of your leg and then the other leg can go overhead, that's it. And a lot of people now come to me and say, you were my first instructor, I've never met you before, but I learned from you. And that's, that's a really special thing, I love that. Let's meet our judges. He has been one of the most important pole dancing figures since 2005. Let's hear it for Jamila It's really interesting because in, in the pole industry, we have a whole history that was never recorded, which is from the strip clubs from, you know, 15 years ago and before, where unbeknownst to most people, most of the moves that you see today were being done already. When we started the first studio in Sydney, which was Bobby's Pole Studio, we all sat down, had a meeting, and we said, okay, we have to give names to these moves. We've never named them before, and we have to give them a structure. We have to give them levels. And so we all sat down, and we ended up um, kind of as a, a half a joke, picking out a move that each of us had brought to the table and naming it after ourselves, not realizing that, you know, 15 years later, there would be this incredible worldwide phenomenon of pole dancing with moves that were um, named after us. And then tip myself over into the pole. So that's a basic Jamila. There are definitely moves named after me. There is a, actually a bunch of moves called the Jamila. <laughs>
Because I dared to step into a kind of a taboo world way back, and I stuck with it because I loved it, and I didn't let any other concerns sway me from what I loved, um, it gave me a career, and it gave me a lifestyle, and it gave me, I think it's led me, all the other things that I do now, it led me to those other things. And it's given me connections with people, new friends, you know, international family. Um, it's completely changed my life. I don't know if I'd be here now if it wasn't for Paul. So I have a lot to thank Paul for.